Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my fellow Junebugs. Thank you so much for joining me again in this video. Now, I apologize in advance. The sun is going to be coming in and out just because it is a bit of an overcast day today. But today, I am excited to bring this reveal. It is a reveal because I couldn't help it. You guys know me. I really struggle to do unboxings because... I'm just all about that instant gratification right now, especially in lockdown when you've got really nothing to look forward to. Um, but before I do get into the reveal, I just want to welcome anyone who is new to my channel. Hi, welcome. My name is June. I'm a doctor by day, but I do make YouTube videos in my spare times. I love all things luxury, especially vintage designer bags and goodies. So if that is your cup of tea, do subscribe and join me on my little YouTube family here. Um, so... I don't know if you can tell from my outfit what it is. If you do know, please just take a second to pause the video and comment in the comment section below. But it is a little Louis Vuitton reveal. If you guys remember, a little bit earlier this year, I did do a reveal on a Louis Vuitton watercolor piece. And I mentioned in that video that I was actually initially after a previous Louis Vuitton seasonal piece. And I really, really loved it but the price point on that had become extortionate. Like it's super cute, don't get me wrong, but it was going up significantly in price, up to 3,500 just for the bag, not including the accessories. So I won't harp on it too much longer, but please welcome my latest addition to my handbag collection. And that is the Louis Vuitton Murakami Bucket PM in the Cerise print isn't it absolutely gorgeous so if you guys didn't know in addition to the Louis Vuitton multicolor um, Murakami actually did collaborate with um, Marc Jacobs on a couple of limited edition collections the panda and the cherry blossom and this one is also a pretty famous um, collaboration it is essentially the cutest ever little cherry faces and it's printed all over the actual canvas and then it is lined with this gorgeous gorgeous red interior lining as you can see there it is such a cute little piece and i i this was actually what triggered my um hunt for like these more limited edition collections because i just think that they are so so beautiful and stunning and i don't know but there's just something about it that i just find so so endearing i actually um went ahead and purchased this prior to this purchase um this is the just a standard louis vuitton bucket pm it's actually a really good bag if you're interested in a sort of bucket style i got this for a pretty reasonable price i think it was um about a thousand australian dollars which these were actually really really cheap quite some time ago but now you can rarely find them in good condition especially with the interior sort of not um completely wearing away so uh i was actually pretty happy to have this and it's a cute little bucket size just for every day i have the noe gm which i think is actually a really great all-rounder bag but it is quite big and bulky so if you wanted something more for summer that you know is a little bit more compact this is a great option and then you can shorten the strap so i sort of scratch my bucket pm itch with this bag but then because i still kind of had this on my alerts i saw that it was actually going up for auction um on one of my favorite like japanese consignment sellers and i was actually able to purchase these for uh i believe just under two thousand australian dollars including duties and taxes which um Honestly, for this bag, you really cannot find a better price. I have seen these. The cheapest that I've seen these go for was about two thousand eight hundred. So I was still able to save um, eight hundred Australian dollars. And look, it's actually in pretty good condition. When I first got it, I actually had a few watermarks on the bottom there, but I actually cleaned it up. It did slightly darken the patina, but I don't mind. I prefer a more even but darker patina than an un, like a patchy vachetta. So I'm actually not too mad about it like i really love this bag look how cute it is with my cherry top i just think it is so cute i love the little faces on it the bottom also has the three sort of printed canvas and i do just absolutely love the red interior lining it is so gorgeous so so stunning and i do think that the interior lining of this particular collection has lasted better because i haven't seen many cerise 
um, Louis Vuitton PMs that have a really worn interior. I think that the red lining of this was sort of a bit better made. The only thing with this bag is that it didn't come with pochette, which look would have been so, so cute. I do think that the pochette is adorable because you could, it's sort of like an in-between size of like a mini pochette and also the pochette accessoire. But to be honest, like, with the pochette on the resale market, it is about five thousand Australian dollars for this bag and the pochette. It also came with this beautiful, gorgeous red dust bag. But like, honestly, the dust bag doesn't bother me. I'm happy to have no dust. I do think this came with a dust bag, but just like a standard one. But um, yeah, like. To be honest, I just wanted the bag. I didn't mind so much the pochette because I, I honestly don't use like mini pochettes regardless anyways. I kind of just would have loved it to have it. Um, but I actually did purchase a mini sort of Louis Vuitton key ring. Um, so that is going to come in the mail. So do stay tuned for that. I, I think it would just look super cute dangling as like a little accessory. They had quite a few things in this collection, I think. They had like the sac pla. They had the bandolier, they had like scarves and shoes, they also had the round coin purse and the uh, key pochette. So I got the key pochette which will be coming, um, can't wait to share that with you guys. But I just wanted to show you this beautiful gorgeous number, I absolutely love it. It's going to be so so much fun wearing this around summer. Honestly guys, I'm really just so in love with these uh, vintage like collaborations from Louis Vuitton. I don't foresee myself getting every collection, I think that the multi color the cerise and the aquarel was sort of my favorite um there's nothing else really that i have my eye on in other collaborations but maybe if i see more cerise pieces for a reasonable price um i may pick it up but i'm pretty stoked with this it's just a beautiful showstopper bag it's definitely a collector's item um it's sort of something that i probably would want to keep in really good condition because yeah it is a stunner and the canvas on this is actually in excellent condition. A lot of bags you find, um, you do get a lot of like wear and tear on the canvas just because it is just a silk screen. So it will wear away if you're not careful. So I do have both of them. And honestly, I don't mind because I there is something about just plain monogram that I do love. I do think monogram goes with everything. So if I just want like a very simple style bag, I can use this. And um, it doesn't bother me that I have both. I could sort of lend this out to my mom or my sister if they wanted. Um, I might as well just keep it because it is in um, like it is in pretty good condition and it's hard to find this style bag for this price at, at the moment. The only thing though that I will mention about this bag is I guess the double strap. It depends if you're a single strap or double strap kind of girl. I definitely am more of a single strap like when I want to wear like a tote I prefer the totes to have one strap because I do find that sometimes it falls off uh, but it does depend on how much you carry. If it's weighted down it won't fall off your shoulder as easily but yeah it does depend on what you're carrying um, but I've always sort of just preferred a single strap just like the no way that's that bag is just such a great work tote um, sort of run around by so anyways you guys that is my little handbag reveal I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and as always hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one bye